Hello friends, this video on probability bar 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 24. From example, from a lot of 30 bulbs, there are 30 bulbs which includes 6 defectives. So, there are 30 bulbs out of which 6 defective and 24 working condition. A sample out of these, this thing, we took out four bulbs from these you take out four bulbs at a random with replacement that means you are replacing so it is a independent event so since you are replacing is an independent event find the probability distribution of number of defective bulbs since you are taking out four bulbs correct since you are taking out four bulbs it may happen that so x is nothing but number of defective Bulbs. So it may happen that none of the bulbs is defective, one of the bulbs is defective, two bulbs are defective, three bulbs are defective, or all four bulbs are defective. So X can have four bulbs, right? Since you are taking out four bulbs, it can happen that none of the four bulbs are defective, all four bulbs are defective, or one or two or three bulbs are defective. So X can have these many values. Correct. Now since it is all with replacement, so probability of defective bulb is nothing but 6 by 30 it is 1 by 5 and probability of working bulb will be 1 minus 1 by 5 that is 4 by 5 since it is with replacement this holds true for everything right now let's write the distribution probability of x is equal to 0 that means no defective bulb that means both the bulbs you got are working bulbs right Sorry, four bulbs you took out, right? Working, working, working. All fours are working. This guy is nothing but four by five into four by five into four by five into four by five. Since it's independent event, this comes out to be two fifty six by six twenty five. Correct. Second case, one bulb is defective, right? That is one bulb is defective out of. 3, you, you took out 4 bulbs, that means 3 are 3 out of 4, 1 defective, or I can say probability of 1 defective and 3 working. This is the probability I have to find. This is nothing but out of 4, 1 if is defective, right? For defective, the probability is 1 by 5 into probability of non defective, that is. 4 by 5 to the power 3. That becomes 256 by 60. Probability of x is equal to 2 is nothing but probability of 2 defective and 2 working. That is nothing but from 4 you have 2 defective and probability of defective is 1 by 5 to the power 2 and 4 by 5 to the power 4 minus 2 is 2. This comes out to be 96 by 625. Probability of x is equal to 3, that is 3 defective is nothing but probability of 3 defective, 1 working, that is from 4 you take out 3 and out of these 3, 3 uh, out of these 3 are defective and 1 guy is non defective, that is 16 by 65. x is equal to 4 all defectives, that is all defective, right, this guy, this guy is nothing but out of 4 you take out 4 all are defectives and this none of them are this is nothing but 1 by 625 so if you see the probability distribution the value of x can be 0 1 2 3 and 4 and the probability of x you see the value can be for 0 it was 256 by 625 for 1 it is again 256 by 625 for 2 it is 96 by 625, for 3 it is 16 by 625 and for 4 it is 1 by 625 and that is the answer. Correct? No big deal. So this is uh, the, the, if you don't understand these things you watch my probability videos from previous classes where we explain how we got this. So from 4 bulbs, 1 is defective, 4 C1 the permutation we have used and then the probability is 1 by 5 right because 1 is defective 4 are correct 4c2 
from four bars which are drawn two are defectives and the probability of defective is 1 by 5 and non defective is 4 by 5. Similarly, 4C3 and 4C3. This question is similar to the question we have done, but we have done generally for non biased coin. Here, the coin is biased, where the head is three times as likely to occur as tail, right? So, if you throw coins four times, uh, head, sorry. If head comes three times, my tail will come once. So probability of head air is three by four, and probability of tail is one by four. So that's the only difference here. The the coin is biased in this kind of question. We have already done right. Nothing big in this question. So here, if you see the coin is joined twice. So in first case, you may get head tail. Second case, you may get head tail. Head tail. Four possible scenarios. We define the distribution for number of tails. So number of tails can be zero, one, or two. Correct? You can have zero tails, one tail. So if you see this H H H T T H and T T. So number of tail is zero, one, one, and two. Correct? So let's find the probability distribution for zero tails. Is nothing but probability of Head head. Since they are independent events, probability of head is what? 3 by 4. This is 3 by 4 into 3 by 4. That is 9 by 16. Second is probability of getting one tail. So it can be probability of head tail plus probability of tail head. Right? So probability of head tail is what? Head is what? 3 by 4. Tail is what? 1 by 4. Plus tail into head. Tail is what? 1 by 4. Tail head is what? 3 by 4. Since they are independent events, I am just multiplying it, right? Because if this is not an independent event, then we have to use PHT is nothing but probability of H into probability of T given H. But since it's independent events, we just multiply. So this becomes 3 by 8. X is equal to 2, that means they are two tails, nothing but probability of tail into probability of tail, right? They are independent events. Probability of tail is what? 1 by 4, right, into 1 by 4, that is 1 by 6. So if you see here, the value of x was 0, 1 and 2, and the probability of x, if you see, was nothing but, for 0 it was 9 by 16, for 1 it was 3 by 8, and for 2 it is 1 by 16. So if you add all these also, you get Find the value of k for the probability distribution. This, so it's so one thing we know that the sum of this has to be one if it is a random variable. So let's add this. This becomes k plus two k plus two k plus three k plus k square plus two k square plus seven k square plus k is equal to one. That is nothing but ten k square plus nine k minus one is equal to zero. So if you solve this, this becomes 10k minus 1 into k plus 1 is equal to 0. Right? Because 10k, I can 9k I recognize it as 10k minus k. This becomes 10k minus 1 into k plus 1. Right? So this becomes k is equal to 1 by 10 or k is equal to minus 1. But k can't be negative because k is one of this value here. Any value can't be negative, so I ignore this part. So I get k is equal to 1 by 10 as a simple only. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.